Welcome to Electro Online. Using Wien's law and observing the wavelengths of the radiation coming from these Cepheid variables, we were able to establish the temperatures through the cycle to the periodicity of these Cepheid variables. So taking a look at Delta Cephi, the first one of its kind that we found, of course now we have seen thousands and thousands of them, we take a look and we measure the wavelength coming from those stars, or from that particular star, and we're using Wien's law, we can calculate the temperature by taking 0.0029 and dividing it by the wavelength, the, the peak wavelength coming from that star through its periodicity. And from that we were able to establish that the temperature varied from about 5,600 Kelvin on its surface to 6,600 Kelvin and back down as it varied in brightness. So using the Stefan Boltzmann's law and realizing that the luminosity or the amount, of the amount of energy we get from the star is equal to E sigma a t to the fourth power. E is the emissivity, sigma is the Boltzmann constant, A is the surface area of the star, and T is the temperature. If we simply take the temperature portion and raise it to the fourth power, we take the high temperature to the fourth power, divided by the low temperature raised to the fourth power, and we see that's about a ratio of two to one. And now realizing that the luminosity difference measured of Cephei variable is 2.3 times, meaning the difference between the luminosity here and the luminosity there, we can see that almost the entire difference can be explained by the difference in the surface temperature of the star. We also realize that the surface area of the star changes because we know the star gets bigger and then gets smaller, gets bigger and gets smaller. So we'll take a look at that one next, but we, so slowly we can see that the variation in the luminosity is due in large part to the difference in the temperature of its surface as it goes through the cycle, and then in second part we'll also see that it's due to the size difference as it goes through a cycle. So we'll have to line that up with how it changes in brightness. Notice that the, the hottest temperature here pretty well coincides with the maximum intensity and the lowest temperature pretty well coincides with the lowest, uh, lowest intensity. So we can see that it's probably very closely related to the surface temperature of these Cepheid variables. And that is how we figured it out. All right, next we go to, let's see here, radial velocity. Okay, 